the Ozarks. Well, at least we got through the day dry, and it was actually pretty nice today. That mix of sun and clouds, a high near 60 degrees. Some areas got into the 60s. Mount Home reported 65 this afternoon. Last couple of days, those are going to be our two nicest days out of this work week. Now we got to deal with this. We've already seen a little bit of rain, and that little bit of rain is now spreading out of the area. Additional light showers, though, showing up once again across Greene County, Christian County, down into Taney County, and points west. And as we drop down a bit further southwest into Benton County in Arkansas, we find pretty good cluster of showers. There's even been a few lightning strikes with that activity and the rain's coming down pretty good with this batch. So this is what's going to be pushing northeast into southern Barry County and across northwestern Carroll County as well. So Eureka Springs up to Cassville. Another round of rain is coming in, a steadier, heavier round of rain coming in, I think, over the next half hour, 45 minutes. And there's more where that came from. In fact, we've seen rain blossom across eastern Oklahoma, down into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And this big slug of wet weather, this is what's making its way northeast overnight tonight and into the first half of the day on Thursday. This is just part one of this two-part storm. The core of the storm located back here in southwest Colorado and northwest New Mexico, and it's going to drop south, south of El Paso before it lifts northeast toward the area this upcoming weekend. So it's kind of a protracted storm. Overnight tonight, Again, it looks like rain spreading in, a steadier rain, a heavier rain spreading into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas uh, midnight and thereafter. That'll continue to push northeast. This is what our Thanksgiving day will look like as we're getting up and, uh, uh, you know, getting ready for the big day. It looks like we're going to find a steady, mainly light to moderate rain along and south of I-44. Up towards areas like Clinton and Warsaw and Lincoln and Versailles, this area cloudy. But I think we're not going to be dealing with a steady rain there, just some light showers kind of on and off. And we'll find that through lunchtime. Uh, as we work into the afternoon, I think the steadier rains come to an end across the area, but we're still going to have some light showers or patchy areas of drizzle to contend with. And that'll spill over into the evening hours before that fades away. And then speaking of fading away, it now looks like we're going to be able to kick out this cloud cover for Friday. So while we may start the day off with some cloud cover, I think skies are going to tend to become sunny across the area, and that's going to make for a nice finish to this week. Uh, temperatures tonight drop into the mid 40s, highs tomorrow in the low 50s. So it's a rain jacket kind of day. I don't know if you have to go too much heavier than that. Uh, looking at Friday, we're in for sunshine once the clouds move out, and we're looking at highs in the low to mid 50s. Uh, in fact, it looks like areas to the southeast, maybe mid to upper 50s. So a, a good way to finish out the week. I uh, wish that would extend into the weekend, but it's not to be. The second part of this two part storm after that Friday intermission will be moving in on Saturday. Now, I think we start the day off dry. A lot of the morning looks dry, but by midday, I think we've got rain moving in uh, across southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. It should be a steady rain, and some of that rain may be coming down pretty good. And then the rain will overspread the rest of the area, and I think we're in for a wet afternoon, and it looks like the rain will continue into the overnight. At least showers and areas of drizzle will continue through the overnight Saturday night before it winds down. And it may be tough to get rid of all that cloud cover on Sunday. As far as rainfall totals, pretty good soaking between those two waves of rain tomorrow and on Saturday, half inch to three quarters of an inch to the north of the interstate along and south of the interstate. We're looking at an inch of rain to maybe as much as two inches of rainfall. That's the holiday weekend. Here's what it's going to look like as we go back to work. And it looks like we're in for sunshine and warmer weather on Monday. 60s on Tuesday. Wait, you're supposed to time this out so that we have that kind of weather when we're not going. I know. <laughs> I know. And this just proves the point. I don't have any control over the weather. It is what it <laughs> is. You know, because I, I mean, if I had control over the weather, I think this weekend I would go for 70 both Saturday and Sunday, sunshine. But it's going to. I've be, got stuff to do. Well, it's going to be dry. Hang on Christmas up lights. Christmas. I, I it's going to be dry. Uh, Friday looks dry. Sunday. Saturday the rain's moving in. Sunday looks dry. Okay. All right. All right. Choose wisely. Is, is it. Meatloaf said two out of three impact. I know, it's a good song, isn't it? <laughs> sure. uh.